All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. I have three TTMs for you on this Monday. So let's get started with the first one. And it comes from the Baseball Diamond. And it is Jim Colburn. Jim Colburn came up with the Cubs in 1969. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get as many of the 1960 Cup, 1969 Cubs as I can get uh, that are still alive. Uh, it is going to be quite a feat. Fergie Jenkins has uh, raised his prices now. I think he's like $75 for a card. So he's, he's going to be the tough one uh, to get because he's so expensive. Uh, the 1969 Cubs were the team that were supposed to win it all until then they didn't. And the New York Mets came back. And I grew up with stories about the 1969 Cubs and how the Mets are the mortal enemy. Now, let's get on to the next one, and it comes from the Gridiron, and it is John Freeze. John Freeze was one of those guys who put up amazing numbers in his college days, and it didn't particularly carry over into the NFL. 1989, uh, he won the Walter Payton Award, which is the FCS version of the Heisman. He threw over 10,000 yards in his four years at the University of Idaho, which is just crazy good. He was through for 5,000 yards. He was recruited by uh, Dennis Erickson, who went on to coach the Miami Hurricanes in the late 80s and into the 90s. Uh, John Freeze do have his autograph from his induction into the College Football Hall of Fame, but decided that I should get it on a card this time. So there we go. Got two cards from John Fries. John Fries really only had one chance at becoming an NFL starter, and that was in the early 90s. Other than that, he was a career backup. Now it is on to my next TTM, and it comes from Joe Montaigne. I saw Brandon Stebbins get him back in early March, so I immediately found this card in my collection. I knew I had it. I just needed to find it um, and Sent him the card as soon as I uh, could. The next day, in fact, when, when Brandon showed the card off on one of his TTM videos. And, you know, Cup fans need another Cup fan autograph, right? And so Joe Montana has sang the seventh inning stretch at Wrigley Field since 1998, the year Harry Carey died. And so when I wrote him, I just said, hey, if you ever want to do a duet with somebody when you sing the seventh inning stretch, and I gave him my contact information. Well, I gave him my email address, which I guess he contact me via email. And uh, he didn't write back or anything, but, just, you know, I would, I would do anything to sing the seventh inning stretch at Wrigley Field. And if I had to do a duet with Joe Montano, why not? So really cool to get him back. He he did stop signing TTMs late last year, and then he started doing it again um, a few months ago. So got that out as soon as I could and happy to get it back. So that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.